All right, thank you very much. Hello, everybody. It's your good friend Possible here, and today we're going to try something really different. We're going to go through a speed movie review, something a little bit faster, something a little bit less known. So it's not going to be a huge movie review with all different images and stuff of the movie. It's going to be a quick one because this is a lesser known movie, and I saw it recently because Netflix was about to get rid of it. And before they got rid of it, I wanted to see it and see what Crazy Eights was all about. Long story short, Crazy Eights sucked. Uh, it was really disappointing, and I guess. One of the reasons it was so hard for me to really watch and all that is because there's so many people in this movie that I liked. It's got Tracy Lords. Yes, I do like her. I think she's a pretty good artist. I think she's getting, she got a bad rap, but uh, she really tries hard. And she really works it pretty well. You got Dina Myers, Dina Meyer, and then believe me, if I say Dina Myers, I apologize. I know it's Dina Meyer. It's just Mike Myers uh, from both Halloween and um, The Spy Who Shagged Me. Austin Powers, uh, all the same person, by the way, just so you know. <laughs> no, just kidding. Uh, Gabri Gabriel Anwar from Burn Notice and Frank Whaley from other movies. A lot of favorite actors in here. Uh, just such a disappointing movie, but why? Crazy Eights was 80 minutes long. Well, what are you going to do with 80 minutes length of movie when you only have 30 minutes of content? You know, you're going <clears> to <throat> replay similar images over and over again and then over and over again. They, they don't just want to show you that someone's losing their minds in this area. They're actually going crazy. And we're going to belabor that fact until you get it. And then once you get it, we're going to belabor it some more. You know, Crazy Eights is nothing special. It's that typical uh, group of people go into a room and are never here from again type of thing. Uh, the worst part about it was just the length of it. You know, it was, like I said, it's 30 minutes of content in an 80-minute movie. Uh, you, do, you dwell into these people's past. <clears throat> you have all the cliches. You've got the, you know, psychologist, the priest, the singer, the artist, depressive... Uh, and the other people. The businessman jerk is there, you know? And uh, the actors do such a good job. And like I said, I really like a lot of these actors. That's one reason I, I guess Crazy Eights kind of, I wanted to strangle it, is because I don't think they did the actors justice, in my opinion. I felt like something was really missing from this movie. Maybe it's something called life, which is a odd thing to say about a horror movie. But you're supposed to root for these people. And I couldn't find myself doing that. I found myself waiting. It's like, when are they going to kill somebody? You know, when's the next person? Not as in, ooh, I can't wait to see who goes next and how. It's more like looking at your watch, kind of who's next. The other thing that kills me about Crazy Age is that try to start off with this opening line about how in the early, like between the 50s and 70s, kids were experimented on and were never seen for, of again. Well, these kids were apparently part of that group, but they were heard from again. So it really doesn't fit. And that's another thing with Crazy Eight. It just doesn't fit. Imagine it like this. What is a movie? A movie is a puzzle. Crazy Eight likes to pick up a piece and really look at that piece. Forward, back, sides, angles, everything. And then they try to put it together. And it just takes them too long when you can pretty much see the picture on the back of the box type of deal. All right, guys, that's it for me for today. We'll see you at the theaters. And yes, Crazy Eats is a pass. If you ever see it, don't watch it. All right, guys, see you later.